And by my clock, it is go time. So let me flip off the uh, text message saying it's about to start. Hi, Grace. Okay, folks. Um, Had a Full Boyfriend is the AgriChat game of the month this week or this month uh, for August. And it was picked by um, a good friend and a fellow AgriChat host, Grace, who is also in the channel right now. And I am both excited and terrified to be playing this game. Um, it is not exactly my kind of game normally, but you know what? I'm going in with an open mind, and I've had a mixture of monster and alcohol. So it's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. Let's start a new game. Welcome to St. Pigeon Nations. Please enter your name. No, I don't want to be Hiyoko. I want to be Belgast. Also, that seems insanely loud. Okay, how's that? That still seems really loud. Okay, that should be better. I am, of course, going to be Belgast because I don't care that I'm a girl who's going to date birds. I'm going to be Belgast. God, I have to come up with a last name too. There you go. Yeah, sure, it's fine. It'll be just fine. Pettiful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. No, I'm not. Do, do I want the, the human portraits, sage elders of the channel that have played this before? Okay, it's still way louder than me. Okay, is that better? I'm waiting for the crowd because Twitch is horrible about being lagged behind. Yes, I want the humans. Okay. Is the sound any better? Pigeon Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I in ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pigeon Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day you see ru I see you rushing around like this. I don't even have a clue how to pronounce that. Ryutu? Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Belgast. Overslept? Okay. It's rocked of his name, Kawari Ryoto. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He could be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. 
Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. That just sounds disturbing. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. Okay. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryoto. Oh, the pill already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers. <laughs> Jeepers. <laughs> no good being late on the first day. And so Ryoto pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that's lost. Or lost fun. Yeah. First term. I think we're in 2-3, Rio 2. And I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. Hope we all get along. Here's the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. I... I got no clue on that one. K-Bird. I'm gonna go with K-Bird. <laughs> Good morning, every birdie. Er... I'm... Nenki... Ah, K-Bird. <laughs> I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. And he snored. Sir, wake up in his homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? Kazuaki. Okay, Kazuaki. This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's a famously sub. Soporific? <laughs> Math professor? I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show, great minds come in all forms. Hey, Naf. Ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce you yourself, Shiragani. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with the commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's not good. Or no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him be or break the rules like that, sir. <laughs> the system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shiragani? Dot, 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 dot. Shiragani, le bell sakuya. Okay. There's a bell bird. That is not a bell bird. I would never wear anything like that. It seems his fantail. This fantail is Shiragani Sakura. Or Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Yeah, no, I don't want to be friends. Sakuya sits down, glaring daggers at Ryuto and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Can I kick his ass yet? Lunch already. Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. Huh? someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. 
or not, a morning dove stands in a dark corner staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want to say something to me? Exclamation point. <laughs> he looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk, as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. Hee <laughs> hee. They were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his glaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm Burb Love Belgast. A sophomore. <laughs> what about you? Your Nageki Fujishiro Nageki Freshman <laughs> Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep mating depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... should have been entrusted not to approach me in school. Come on, Kasuya. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please, don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait, just a... I guess even if we're in the same school now, what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I've just overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies man, Sakazaki? Yuya? Is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! You heard the whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Haha, <laughs> no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. <laughs> oh my god. This fantail pigeon is so Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous and, or infamous throughout the school. Everybody knows him. Okay, all the everybodies are just cracking me up. You're a Belgast, right? H how did you know? I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy and a feel of rye. Did you say you were friends with of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I'd never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat, maybe, or wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, wannabe. I do. really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about you yet, though. Probably a twisty business. Twisty business. That's 
that's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryuta? He said he was going to go to the infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryuta always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Excuse me? No, Birdie's here! <laughs> Stilma's sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. <laughs> Is that like Spidey Sense? There's nobody here. Ryuta? I reply. The infirmary's empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think about it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryuta, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. I... no. Nope, not even gonna try. What do these even do? Care to find out? D -d Doctor! I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want, hmm? No, thank you. This partridge is a wami shoe, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with, uh, or even worse. <laughs> Christmas music, this is awesome. <laughs> and I never even heard him come to the door. Ninja doctor. You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryuta Kawari from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't you come find me before going home? Sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ah, finally out of that evil, den of evil. Rita's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh. I never got around to joining a club last year. Oh god, another game with clubs. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, <laughs> bird watching. <laughs> Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school. It's always fun watching birds hop around. <laughs> I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Coo coo! This is no pudding for a man. Coo! Akasan rejects it. It is a lie, a vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. Hey, that's not very, very nice to the pudding. This is Okosan. He doesn't really look like it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Koo! Okosan has suffered a deception most vile, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Koo! <laughs> Okosan instructed that the pudding be provided for new members. Koo! But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Coo, coo, spare the jest, young lady. Okasan used a wing attack as perfective. <laughs> coo! <laughs> Don't rue the day they crossed Okasan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn, he will. Koo! <laughs> Okasan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. 
to some crazy shit. And he's gone. He's a good runner. But what does pudding have to do with the track team? <laughs> and so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeon Nations. I feel like we did nothing during that first day. Or I think I want to choose the class council today. As you know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Cool! Okasan has time only for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shiragani? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism ho! <laughs> Don't we get the vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. I wonder what I should do. Join the... Ah. I think I'm gonna join the library staff. That's it, everyone, isn't it? Have fun! <laughs> Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend? Ah, uh, go music class. We sang birdie melodies. It was a little tiring, but singing together was fun. If this is a bird school, why do they have pictures of humans on the walls? Belkast leveled up. Charisma is increased by five. I'm only receptionist. I'm on receptionist duty today. Better hurry. Boring as usual. The library here doesn't seem very popular. Not enough books. It's on the fifth floor though, so at least the view is nice. Sitting here twiddling my thumbs is bad for me. I wish someone would come ask me something. There's no birdie here. I wonder if it would be okay to close early. Ah, I wish I could just spread my wings and fly away. Planning to jump off the building? The window there is rather good for that Miss Receptionist. Nageki, when did you... I've been here all along. I never noticed. He's almost as bad as the doctor. You're thinking I have no presence, right? It's okay. I already know that. You certainly seem to like this place. Yes, is that a problem? Um... No, books are nice. They are. Why don't you join the library staff, Nikeki? You could read whatever you wanted. I already read whatever I want. Touché. You shouldn't slack off, Miss Receptionist. And with that, he takes a book and is gone between the stacks. What a strange bird. Ah, sitting at home is so relaxing. Oh, tomorrow's the class hike. Should I prefer anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to, well, health first. I think I'll have a little, some udon and go to sleep. Today is the hike. We stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... Ah... Uh... I'll talk to Ryuta. Sure, great view, huh? Huh? Is that your lunch, Belgast? Yep. It's a calorie meat. That's a pretty sad thing to bring on a picnic. No, it's not. A great man once said, it's the ambrosia of gods. 
Geez, if you eat like that, you'll be dead on the roadside by the time we head back. Here, I'll share mine. Really? Wow, thanks, Ryuta. And so I got to eat half of Ryuta's lunch. His cooking is so good. We can save the calorie me in case of survival situation. I'm a hunter-gatherer. Today is an elective day. What should I do? Attend? Um... Okay, my vitality is already high. My charisma is okay. Let's do math class. I don't know if these mean anything at all. I'm not getting this at all. Maybe you should review the basics a little bit more, burp love. Yes, sir. Bell gas leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. I'm getting smart. Er, I imagine you're all well aware, but... The sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival. So it's always been in May. What are you going to do, Ryuta? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Somebody has to. Koo! Okasan will handle the marathon. Indeed he will. You have a lot of stamina, Okasan. What about you, Sakuya? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It's a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't include involve running? How about being a cheerleader? The general. In other words, very well. Leave it to me. Um, I don't think that's... Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use help if any birdie still can't decide. <laughs> Thanks, Coder. That's all for today. Reed is doing the three-legged race. Okasan's running the marathon, and Sakuya is a cheerleader. Yuya might be running in the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Today is a sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the three-legged race, marathon, cheerleaders, first aid tent, library. I'll do the three-legged race. Are you join? Oh, are you joining us? Want to run together? I haven't found a partner yet. Okay. Get set. Go. Ryuta's running for both of us. Pairing up with a bird and a primate might have been a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, somehow we came in second anyway, though. We have brought honor to our class. <laughs> <laughs> the first barrier for all students who make it this far is the midterm exam. We're getting them back today. Ah, I don't think I did too well. Herb love? Yes. Hmm. I don't think you did too badly. Yes? Not too. Mm, nope, sorry. You did badly. No! Try harder next time, okay? I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. I, there was no opportunity to study more! With the festival and midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. It does smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Salutations, Belgast. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. He gestures at a news clipping in the staff room pin board. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon crowned again. Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... 
He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and in, in, insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. <laughs> That's hard to say. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up now, won't me? Try googling Brian Pigeon. Okay. <laughs> now I see why you like this game so much, Kodra. They're saying you're the first intelligent pigeon. Uh oh, lunch is nearly over. Adieu, Belgast. Today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... Ah... Uh... Store, infirmary, or cafeteria. Since I'm kinda... going after Ryuta, I think probably... Infirmary? Let's see if he's there. You again, are you ill? Oh, no, not exactly. Why are you here? I came here to... Uh, e sure. I wanted to skip class. Get out. Kicked out at the speed of light. I should probably take my school life more seriously. Yeah. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend... I should probably really, like, get some more wisdom here. Maybe I will stop failing my exams. Cool! And now we can draw a line perpendicular to the... Is this math class or nap time? Bellgast leveled up in wisdom by five. Today is Tanabata. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. Okay. Wow, there's lots here already. Any birdie I know? May mother stay healthy this year, and may my stomach get better. Ryuta. Aw. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> what should I wish for? Of course I want to conquer the world by force. Clearly. I wish to crush all opposition that rises before me and rule the world with an iron fist. That is so damn random. <laughs> oh, hello. Is that you, Burb Love? Yes, Mr. N Mr. Nanaki. You should be careful out this late. It could be really dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like to walk? Would you like me to walk you to your place? Sure. Might as well. It is, a, it is a really sad bamboo tree. <laughs> like, I've seen better looking bamboo in Pier 1. Yes, please. Alright. He's gonna fall asleep on the way home, isn't he? Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extremely <laughs> extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. Your house is very rustic, Burblove. I like it this way. It's wonderful to have a place you can come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Um, sir? See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. And so he left. A somewhat hollow-sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Today is an elective day. What should you do? Uh... I... God, my, my wisdom and charisma are so pathetic compared to my vitality. 
I'm like, yeah, I'm awesome at sports and stuff. Um, you know, I really should probably... Yeah, screw it. We're going to go music. I've been placed in charge of the timpani today. Last time I was the gong. What am I supposed to be? The musical gorilla? That's precisely what they think I am. Bug has leveled up. Charisma increased by five. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Burblove? Sir? You didn't do too badly, I think. Yes? You never find you did badly, sorry. No! Try harder next time, okay? I disappointed, disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. How am I supposed to study? Is it, like, increasing wisdom? Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seems seemed long and sometimes it seemed short. But either way, it's summer now. I need to check all the assigned books before I go home. There will be a lot of students coming in to borrow their summer reading pretty soon. Today is the closing ceremony, so there are even a few birds in here than usual. But I'm probably not alone. I've seen this situation before. Nageki? No reply. Maybe he's not here. Are you here, Nage? Please be quiet in the library. Hello? You're rather noisy today. Did you want something? Nope. Just wondering if you're here. Of course, I'm always here. He replies from his corner in a somewhat annoyed tone of voice. Oh, the book he's holding. That's assigned reading this semester. Is it any good? Not really. I'm almost done with it. It forces the, its safe, ethical, ethical viewpoint on the reader, like all assigned reading. The whole concept is inane. Why force everyone to read the same books? It's pretty boring most of the time. What do you like to read? Huh? You volunteered to work here, so you must like books. I was wondering what to read next. So you want me to recommend something? He nods. What about? I got, if there's a book called Night on the Galactic Railroad, I have to go with Night on the Galactic Railroad. <clears throat> what about Night on the Galactic Railroad? I liked it. Too stereotypical. Oh, sorry. You've already read it, I imagine. Yes. So, I liked it too. And so I spent the afternoon working in the library, occasionally exchanging a word with Nageki. Time flows slowly by. This sort of thing is nice, too. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during the summer vacation. <laughs> a hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll r go running today. Ah, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Where am I? I must have wandered out of my usual stomping grounds at some point. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, paleolithic homing instinct. <laughs> the sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you! I don't know you. Where'd you come from? The sparrow stands next to me, squinting at my face. Her ring wing is rested, resting on a motor scooter. <laughs> it looks a little bit vintage. How cute. I feel a strange pressure. 
I can tell right away that this sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from St. Pigeon Nations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. Ah, I wondered if I'll be able to go run home again. Hmm? I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small, but we should both fit, I think. Thank you. Um, may I ask your name? Koshiba Azami. I sell takoyaki? What the hell is takoyaki? Call me Azami. And thank you, Azami. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid! One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both our lives. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. There's a far off look in her eyes. I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster walking. Do you think you'll, we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Isn't riding tandem against the law too? That rule is for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. And so we put it along in the zombie's hyper cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost lying out. It's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part time job since I have the chance. I'll get a job. I think I saw a flyer at the station hiring high school students over the summer. It was the cafe, right? It's beautiful in here. Oh my. Pardon me, miss. But we're not open yet. If you could come back at... No. Oh, sorry. I was just here to ask about a job. The prior... prior blah, blah. Proprietor of the cafe is extremely elegant par parakeet. A true gentle bird, without a doubt. This must be what people mean when they refer to a mature attractiveness. All the students at school are young and hyper, and the most dignified birds there are the teachers. Oh, is that right? Forgive me. I'm called... Oh, uh, God, that one's even worse. Arushahara Kinza. I'm the owner of the Torimi Cafe. I'm Birdlove Belgast. Welcome, Miss Belgast. I hadn't expected a human. Um, are you going to interview me? I don't see any need to touch such a wonderful young lady's desire to work here. And I believe you will be much more capable than I at moving the boxes of coffee and tea about. I'll be glad to. After all, I am a vitality girl. I shall be relying on you this summer then, Miss Belgast. It is perhaps a little sudden, but it, you start tomorrow. Okay, the Christmas music is, is just so crazy. <laughs> of course. I am glad. I shall be waiting for you here in my cage. Tomorrow then, Miss Belgast. Today is my first day working at Mr. Arushahara's cafe. I think I'll leave early to make a good impression. 
Good morning, Miss Belgast. Good morning, sir. Let me start by showing you where everything is. I'm sure you'll be able to remember everything soon, so please ask if you can't find something. He shows me around the cafe, explaining everything inside. The shop is small, and he keeps everything very tidy, so I'll be able to remember it all. Well then, what do you think? It's very nice. I almost want to move in. Come now, it's far too plain for a young lady such as yourself. Actually, compared to my how... Excuse me? Ryuta! Um, I saw a flyer at the station in... Ryuta! Belgast, what are you doing here? <clears throat> a friend of yours, Miss Belgast. Oh yes, this is Ryuta. You came for the job too, Ryuta? Yeah, I saw that it starts at noon, so I thought I could fit it in after my other job. But if you've already got the position, then that's that. Uh, Mr. Arushahara, could you use two people? Hmm. Sadly, my cage is too small to have that much work to do. I should... I'm going to be nice and give the job to Ryuta. <clears throat> Mr. Arushahara, do you think you could take Ryuta instead of me? Belgast? I don't see why not, but... I don't really need the job, but Ryuta does. Don't worry, he's a hard worker. Are you sure, Belgast? It's not really fair to you. I do feel a little bad leaving on my first day, too, but several jobs every summer to support his mother. Mr. Arushahara is a real gentle bird, and Ryuta deserves to be treated nicely. This is for the best. I know you'll do a good job, Ryuta. I... thanks, Belgast. Well then, our encounter has been a transient, as transient as a comet's tail on the horizon, but I'm glad I met you. Please stop by. I will always be here, Miss Belgast. I will. Thank you, Mr. Ar Arushahara. Today is the local summer festival. I think I'll go with somebody. Invite. Thanks for inviting me, Belgast. Come on, let's go. So many booths. How are we supposed to choose? Use your hunter-gatherer instincts, Belgast. Let's go find something to eat. I'll pay. What? No fair. I'm paying for yours. It's a deal. Hmm. Yakitori sounds good right about now. And so I spent a happy evening with Ryuta. Maybe we can go again next year. I love me some Yakitori. Yakitori is good. Ah, I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm going to be late. Oh, hello, Burb Love. Sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I overslept. Overslept? Ah, my homework. I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Burb Love? Huh? What's the number in the top left-hand corner say? Oh. You're just a little bit early. Wah! So since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Burb Love? Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman exams, and I thought maybe you could help. You don't have something else. Of course. You have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library, I am going to help because I'm a person like that. You will? Thank you. I'll go make us some tea. And so I spent the morning grading tests in the air-conditioned staff room like a proper little lady. <laughs> this tea is very good. It has mango in it. I do like sweet tea. Oh, good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Koo! Okasan is always having fun! Yup, yup! 
What is this fun? Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Focus, sir, focus! Second term. Huh? Is that? A student ID? Whose is it? Somebody from 2-2. Two -two. Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might have already gone home, though. Well, any teacher will do right. Sir? <laughs> Sir? Oh. Hello, Belgast. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2-2. I thought I should take it here. Oh, thank you, Belgast. I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing, just... You did find this today, right, Burblov? Yes, in the corridor just outside. This student has been absent since the middle of June. How strange. So then the... Was the card lying there all summer? Nobody noticed it? It's awfully clean, though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Burblov. Today's an elective day. What should I do? I will go to math class because I'm dumb. I need to not be dumb. I'd hope for something a little more interesting from an elective day, but this is dull. I can just barely keep up, even though Mr. Nanaki explains everything so clearly. So this is all easy to you, Sakuya? Wow. Are you trying to curry favor with me? Hmm. He looks happy, though. No, I'm not trying to curry favor with him. He's a jackass. Belgas leveled up in wisdom, increased by five. Ah, that was a productive day. Time to go home and indulge in idleness and debauchery. What kind of debauchery can you get up to in a cave? Hey, Belcast. Ryudo, what's up? Want to walk home together? Though, if you were going somewhere else, I would love to. The sun's going down already. I guess it's fall now. The most elegant of seasons. Hey, look, a swallow. The most elegant of birds. Oh, there's its nest. They're supposed to be done rearing chicks by the start of summer. I guess all the birds are changing now. I guess so. These chicks are really small. That reminds me of something from a long time ago. Me too. Thank you, Belgast. When I was young, I found Ryuta freezing on the ground after falling out of his mother's nest. Doves breed all year round. No wonder they're everywhere. That's how we met, right? When I found you flopping around in the dirt and I carried you back to your nest. That's mean. Thinking about it, if I hadn't walked by you then, you'd be dead. <laughs> that's, that's cruel. <laughs> Though you're still not exactly the healthiest bird around. Yeah, thank you, Belgast. If you hadn't found me then, I wouldn't be here now. I remember it as, as if it were yesterday. Ever since I've I've always loved your kindness. And monkey tree climbing jeans. <laughs> and you're just the same as you were then. Never change, okay? Hee <laughs> Today's the school festival. Our class decided to go to uh, do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off. I don't have ever anything to do, so I guess I'll look around... Where to go? Where to go? Let's see. Belgas, wait! <laughs> Why? Oh my god. His outfit. What's up, Raida? 
Are you free now? We've got more customers than we expected, and I could really use another waitress. You're right. Where are they all coming from? Leave it to me, Ryuta. I'll give them a taste of my super made technique. Oh, God. And so I never ended up looking around the festival. Only maids now. Ah. Uh, I handed my recorder handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. <laughs> what to do? Is Mr. Nanaki in the staff room? Excuse me? Huh? Mr. Nanaki and Dr. Awamani. I, I don't know. I hadn't expected to see them together. And you see nothing peculiar about these numbers? Nothing at all. There is a statistical deviation visible in the data on the students from a f the past few years. I had hoped to get some insight from you, but it would seem I have overestimated you. Really? I'm sorry, I couldn't help then. I'll... Yeah, I'm going to side with the, the one that's not creepy. That's not very nice, Doctor. What do you want? Hello, Burblove. What is it? Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. How did that even happen? Am I literally the dumbest person ever? So you did. Here you go. Okay, never mind. Like, okay, maybe recorder means something then. Like, I'm thinking the instrument. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teacher, like people. I window shopped too much on the way home, and the sun's already down. We, huh? Who's that cute girl handing out flyers? What are you doing, Raida? The festival's over. Or is that is that what you always wear? No, no, this is my job. What kind of job is that? You're misunderstanding. It's just a transvestite cafe. <laughs> oh my god. Lovely. I'm not misunderstanding it at all. Well, we need the money. Here, take a fly or two. Um... I'm going to be nice. I'll make sure to ask for you. Thank you. I'll be waiting, Belcast. Oh, and my name at work is Cooleen. <laughs> so trust me with that. Cooleen? Ugh. Cooleen, okay. See you later, Cooleen. I'll tip you big, little lady. <laughs> Oh my god. This is the weirdest game. Ready to want to walk home together? I'm sorry, I need to go somewhere right now. Maybe later. Okay, is something wrong, Rita? It's nothing. Don't worry about it, Palgas. His smile is incredibly unconvincing. But if he doesn't want me worrying about it, worrying about it won't do any birdie any good. Maybe I'll go to the arcade. Ah, that was fun. I haven't played in a while. I should practice some new songs to get back into the game. What are they playing? What's Ryuta doing over here? And why is he coming out of the hospital? Ryuta, were you... Belgast. Belgast, I, I want to talk to you. Is now a good time? Of course, what is it? Um, well, sorry, I'm not sure how to say this. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Thanks. My mother isn't doing well. She was never very healthy. She did used to always catch colds during the winter. Ha ha ha, yeah. Even though doves are supposed to fare better in colder than, or cold than in heat. She's been getting worse since the end of September. After a certain point, I, I couldn't take care of her on my own. 
So she's in the hospital now. And that's where you've been going after school? I hope she gets better soon, Ryuta. She, she won't. Sh she won't? He's crying. Sorry for holding up, Belgast. See you. Ryuta? And so he fled into the night. We get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. Burb love? Yes, sir? You're getting better. Keep it up. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Somebody sent me a text message. Wait, I live in a cave, but I've got a cell phone. Awesome. It's from Ryuta. Meet me at the park at 7. What's going on? I hope it isn't something bad. Take a drink real quick. Ryuta, I hope it, I didn't keep you waiting. Nope, sorry for dragging you out like this, Bogast. What is it? Is your mother okay? Yeah, she's fine now, thanks. She said, you're old enough already. Go spend the day with someone important. And wouldn't let me back into the room. Going home is too lonely. So I thought maybe if I talked to you, I'd feel a little better. So you called me? Do you feel better? Yep. Thank you. Oh, sorry out here on Christmas Eve is kind of sad. Want to go somewhere? I don't mind, Ryuta. Anywhere's fine with you. And so Ryuta and Sp I spent the evening sitting together in the park. It wasn't very Christmassy, but I didn't mind. Happy New Year! But it's raining. Oh well. I'd go to the shrine... But this weather makes the wilderness dangerous. I think I'll sleep in like it's like a good girl instead. I won't be able to send out cards in this rain either. Fiddlesticks. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. What a shocker. Still hibernating. Sir, wake up! Oh. Um, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Third term. It's still light out. So maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! <laughs> oh, tomorrow's... Uh, God, why do they do this? Uh, like a Mintines? I think I'll buy some <laughs> legume Mintines. <laughs> oh my God! I think I'll go buy some beans. Today is legume... Legumentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Good evening, here for beans? Yes. Is there a kind you think is particularly good? This year's trend is towards these bean medleys for racers. But they're a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Hmm, that's true. And sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... Uh... I don't even know. Swollen hemp sounds really disturbing. I'm gonna go with country millet. Cause the the middle option is always good, right? I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. <laughs> Comcorn? <laughs> 
Today's the day. Preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special somebody. For you to wait. Huh? Um, do you have a minute? Sure, what's up? Here, I got these for you. Thanks, Belgast. Um, do you maybe not care for these? No, no, that's not it. I mean, it's a present from you. Of course I'll eat it. Don't worry about it, Rita. You're not fooling anyone anyway. Ah, I'm sorry, Belgast. These will make me sick. No, I forgot his weak stomach. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, and see, like, I'm thinking millet is as generic as possible, but I... Okay. You don't have to apologize. My digestive system that should be saying I'm sorry. All I managed to do was make faux pas. I'll have to be more careful little next year. Tests are over, and there's nothing else to do but wait for spring break. This semester really was over before I knew it. That aside, it's cold. I need to do something about the temperature in my house before I get sick. Huh? Someone sent me a text message? In the park. Come quick. Rita? Rita's huddled on the bench where we usually meet. Rita, that's... he's crying. It's cold. It's still cold out, Rita. You can catch a cold with a coat on without a coat on right hey Belgast my mother died today oh can't for the words I had a feeling that this conversation would come but I don't know what to say she was a dove but she she always got sick when when it was cold that's not right that isn't supposed to happen right you I'm alone now, Belgast. You still have me, don't you? She said the same thing at the end. Rely on Belgast. Let her rely on you. But I think that would be irresponsible of me. I love you, Belgast. More than anyone else now. I, I love you too, Raida. But I... How can I say this? My mother was weak, but... It's not as if she had a short life for a dove. So? What are you trying to say, Raida? If, I, if you were to marry me, I'd die much sooner than you. We're different species. We have different lifespans, too. That's nature. But knowing that from the start, knowing that I would end up leaving you alone, it, it just seems so irresponsible. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean we can't be together. I love you, Ryuta. I want to be with you until the end. I I know what it feels like to be left alone now. I don't want to make you feel this pain, Belgast. I think we should go our separate ways. No, we won't. That's what life is, Ryuta. It's unfair and painful, and sometimes nothing good will ever happen. But fighting on, following the, our urge to seek happiness anyway, that's what makes us alive. That's how our ancestors lived and died and evolved and brought us to where we are now. But we birds weren't meant to come this far. We've advanced more than we were ever meant to. It doesn't matter. Raida, I love you. I want you to, to be with you as long as I can, even if it's just for a little while. I, I think you want to be with me too. Where's the problem? Belgast. I'm not as healthy or strong as you are. I'm not as smart or handsome or rich. But I'm happy. Thank you. You don't have to think about it so much, Raida. We can worry about it in the future when it comes, right? Right. I don't think I've calmed down for a while yet, but I'm glad I was born. If only because I got to be with you. It's like a miracle. Thank you. We have to part with everyone eventually. If it comes a little early, then that's life. I don't care how long it is. I'm happy enough just being with Ryuta. 
but live as long as you can, Raida. Live as long as you can so that you can carry wonderful memories with you when you return to the sky. That it? <laughs> that was kind of a sad ending. <laughs> that's that's like a really depressing ending. <laughs> Ugh. We all die. So, yeah, that's a thing. Wow. And that took a little over an hour. Oh, <laughs> God, that's... <laughs> Okay. Okay, I think that's all the burb boyfriend I have in my uh you can use the little play to fast forward through the parts you've already seen. Okay. I think I, that's all I got in me for right now. Um, mostly because my voice actually hurts. <laughs> I talked a lot. Um, but thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, that was way more entertaining than I thought it would be. Um, I, I guess I get why Grace and Kodra and so many other people really, really, really like this game. Um, it's weird. God, it is so weird. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna stop this stream and contemplate my own mortality. Night, folks. <laughs>